Trans people started their day of demonstrations in front of the government palace, where a performance represented the domination of the justice system by the patriarchy. Afterwards, protesters headed to Congress, urging lawmakers to guarantee economic and education equality for the trans community. The aim is to expose all the injustices we are still suffering and to take advantage of the visibility that our pride celebrations have in order to show society what is going on with us. Unfortunately, most of the mainstream media do not report on our killings and attacks. That's why it's so important that we take these days to raise our voices. Activists report that in 2018, over 50 LGBTI people were killed and the attacks against the trans community have increased since Mariso Macri took office. There is widespread repression against this community that is usually condemned to prostitution, unemployment and misery. We will continue to report on the marginalization of trans people. We have the right to work, to have proper health care, education and housing. We don't want to be third-class citizens. Governments only consider us when it's time to vote. The state represses us, jail us, and kill us. For that reason, this is the third time we organize this demonstration, which is also to pay tribute to Diana Sakayan and the historic verdict on her murder. Life expectancy for the collective is on average just 35 years. Trans people in Argentina are urging the governor of Buenos Aires to pass a bill on trans quota for labor and to promote a similar law for the whole country. Trans people suffer attacks on their basic human rights. And of course, the trans work quota should be applied in all of Argentina and in all the municipalities that do not want to apply it. Activists follow the motto of historical figure Lohana Birkins, who said, now is the time to resist, that the time for revolution is now, because we are not going to jail anymore. Thanks to their ability to adapt, trans citizens will keep organizing and sharing their pain in their fight.